This is the Art Beauty Podcast, where we tell the real truth about the fake shit. I'm Amber Milton. Today, my fabulous and gorgeous co-host is Miss Cynthia Aguilar. She's the international esthetician for one of my absolute favorite lines, Natura Bise. Welcome to the show, Cynthia. Hi, Amber. It's so great to see you again. I love being here with you. Oh my gosh, we love having you on. And I have to say, I'm so excited today. We're getting into some of Natura Bisse's new launches, um, but we're going to start by talking about vitamin C because we all know, you know, we hear about it all the time. It is one of the most powerful and potent antioxidants. It's great for protecting our skin, but I really wanted you, the expert, to come on and, and tell us, you know, with summer coming up, why is vitamin C such an essential part of any skincare routine? Well, like you just said, it is a very powerful antioxidant. Now, what does that mean, right? We, all, we hear antioxidants all the time, but what does, that, what does that mean? Well, what it means is that it's going to help fight the negative effects of free radicals on the skin. Now, free radicals can cause on the skin just premature aging, right? That's what antioxidants and vitamin C do. They're gonna fight these negative effects from free radicals and they're gonna prevent that aging on your skin. Okay, and free radicals are things that um, can occur because of our environment, right? So especially free if you're living in the city and- Free radicals can occur from the environment, can even occur from our diet, our lifestyle. So it can mainly happen because of everything. If you live in a big city where there's a lot of pollution, um, the sun, you will get free radicals. But like I said, also our diet and our lifestyle, if we live under so much stress, you will for sure get free radicals. And this impacts the skin directly. Right. I mean, I have to say, when we talk to so many dermatologists and so many doctors, and look, there are a host of products out there, but it seems to me that one of the most consistent things we hear is that in any good skincare routine during the day, you want some sort of a vitamin C antioxidant serum to protect your skin. And yes. And what I also love about vitamin C is that it boosts the production of collagen. Okay. And I we got to think about this. We start losing collagen since we are 25. So you want to incorporate vitamin C for that antioxidant benefit, but also to boost that collagen production. Now, it, you know, it came to me this morning because I was looking at the line and it's all C and C. So is that sort of stand for vitamin C and collagen? It stands for mainly vitamin C. And okay. it was the great name that we could find for our collection and that we could identify it, but it stands mainly for vitamin C. Okay, so what's the other C? Just, it's like reinforced vitamin C. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so like double vitamin C. So um, extra vitamin C power in there. I have to share a story before we continue on with vitamin C. I um, was sitting around this weekend and so blessed. I got a lovely delivery of this line. And my husband, God bless him, who is such a good sport. Um, we've got thousands of beauty products here. And most of the time, if I'm like, hey, let me just try this on you, he'll go for it. <laughs> this is the first line. He opened it up. He took a smell of it. And I was like explaining all the steps of, of, of what's in it. And there was the souffle mask. And, and I'm like, do you want to try it? And he was like, absolutely. And afterwards, he said, Anytime you want to do a little beauty day with the, <laughs> with the mask, I, I'm all game. I mean, to me, this was like the ultimate um, uh, praise that a brand could receive. I was blown away because he's never said that. But I think the line is so fabulous. I love the fact that he fell in love with that mask. And you know, you get a great point here. Vitamin C is for everyone, mm -hmm. men women and our vitamin C collection, it just invites you right away. The minute you open a jar or the serum or the mask, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm in Spain. This is the Mediterranean scent that I've been dreaming about. So it really is. And I mean, I know people are very um, particular when it comes to skincare and fragrance, but I have to say that this has such a light, um, like what, like an, uh, an orange sort of a citrusy scent to it. It's so lovely and to me. Intense. 
it's not it's, too intense to the point where you get like, oh, okay, I've had enough of citrus. It it is a really inviting, lovely, light fragrance that yeah. everyone falls in love with. So going back to the vitamin C, and and, and I know that you um, have reformulated the the C and C antioxidant solution. Um, yes. Tell us a little bit more. So we know that vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. Why did you feel the need to reformulate um, what was already a very popular product? Okay, so on our previous um, serum, we only had 6% of vitamin C. Okay. We launched it probably like 10, 12 years ago. So, but that time it was the product and it was the correct percentage and the correct uh, way to put it under the skin. Does that make sense? Yeah. 10 years later, of course, things have changed. We have found new ways to stabilize that vitamin C, that ascorbic acid to really be able to provide more benefits to the skin and to really be able to get that product in the deep layers of the skin. So that was the main reason why we decided to reformulate this product. Now this product incorporates 12% of pure ascorbic acid. It's pure ascorbic acid. It's not a derivative or something that is similar to vitamin C. It's pure ascorbic acid. So on that, you know, when we're looking at vitamin C products, I'm glad you're talking about that. Um, can you explain some of the different types of vitamin C and why pure ascorbic acid is sort of the supreme? Pure ascorbic acid is just as if you were squeezing the juice out of that orange. So it's really... Sometimes I, I like to say this analogy is like that emergency directly for your skin, you know? So that's why ascorbic acid is the best way of vitamin C. If you want to get those extra benefits or those real antioxidant benefits for your skin. Okay. And um, is this sort of, um, is one type of vitamin C more, um, you know, irritating for people of sensitive skin than another? Yes. And- it can be also due to the way that they, the vehicles that the companies use to absorb mm -hmm. that vitamin C into the skin. The percentage, of course, has to do with it. But ascorbic acid is one of the most um, stable ways of vitamin C. Now, you've mentioned stability a few times. And for people who might not be familiar, vitamin C, which we know powerful antioxidant, wonderful for our skin, um, is notoriously unstable. It is. Um, so, and, and what that means is once um, it turns brown in a formula, it's not working the way that you want it to, correct? Exactly. It's very unstable. Think about it. When I was talking about that squeezing that orange juice directly from the orange, you know how nutritionists always tell you, if you're going to do that, drink it right away or it will oxidize. And that's just because vitamin C is very unstable. We have found a way for our vitamin C to be stable, to be a long lasting vitamin C. And everything starts even from the package. If you take a look at it, it is made out of glass. So that makes even uh, vitamin C more stable. It protects it. So we have found a way to, to make it more more stable. It is very sensitive, especially to heat, um, mm -hmm. light. If you leave your vitamin C products under the sun, it will oxidize right away. So that's a good tip. When it comes to any vitamin C product, where is the best place to store it? It can be on your vanity, as long as it is like room temperature and you have sunlight directly on the products or any artificial lights, like really hitting the product directly. That's the so best. Way to what store. are your thoughts about like bathroom, um, your bathroom vanity? Is that problematic because of the heat of the shower? Sometimes, yes. The heat of the shower can help it to oxidize a little bit faster. I mean, if you really like to shower, like a steam room in there, <laughs> I recommend to, to better put it in your vanity where it's, where it's room temperature. Got it. So you want to protect it as best you can from light, from heat. So if your vanity is in the direct sunlight, not a great place for it. Exactly. But in, you know how these um, cosmetic fridges are so popular right now? Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it to put it in there either because vitamin C is so, so unstable. The minute that you get it out of there, 
it can really, really change quickly. So I would recommend it just to store it at a place where it's going to be at room temperature. Wow, that is a great tip because you're right. I'm seeing those little cosmetic fridges everywhere, but I guess I never thought about it. Um, when you take it, it's not so much storing it in the cold, it's when you take it out and that temperature shift. Oh. I mean, there are a lot of products that you are going to benefit from putting them or storing them in that little fridge, but not vitamin C. Okay. What are some of the products that do benefit from that while we're on this? For example, maybe some eye products that are going to help you uh, with digestion. Yeah. Those, those would be perfect to store in that in those little fridges, but not vitamin C. Okay, great. Um, so I know too, I was really, really excited about this. So I'm a big fan of the Diamond Extreme Cream. Um, it is thick, it is rich, it is luscious. That lavender scent just puts me to bed every single night. Um, but it, it can be maybe a little bit um, more moisture than you might, well, I'm not gonna say than everybody needs. For me, I'm like still sticking with the retinol. So even though we're in summer, I feel like every other day that deep moisture and that deep hydration is great. But I'm really, really, really excited about this oil-free gel. This I, is a new launch, correct? It's also a new launch. And I think it's perfect for summertime. For me, for example, I consider myself to have a normal skin, but during summertime, I do get a little bit shiny during the day. So this texture right here oh is amazing. It I is just opened the jar and got that scent. Sorry. Okay. It's so it delish. Is very light texture. It's a gel that it's very fast. Um, it is very fast absorbing and it leaves you with that matte finish on the skin. So during summertime, I think this is a perfect, a perfect texture for whoever is looking for a deep hydration, but still looking for an anti-aging moisturizer. And I think that matte texture is what did it for my husband um, because he's been now using this every day alongside me um, because, you know, with men, I think a lot of the times if you put on a cream in the morning and look, they need moisture, um, but then it dries like a little bit shiny, whereas yeah. we might like a dewy look. I think that they don't appreciate no, that as men much. Men are always looking for a matte finish. Yeah. Under and I think this product, delivers that exactly. So I think it's a perfect product for a man. Yeah. For a woman, you know, it's funny. Somebody told me the funniest thing the other day. They were like, we always want what we don't have. And that the younger generations like a matte, matte finish, um, because they've got all the oil and moisture and dewiness in their skin. But once we hit our 40s, 50s, 60s, we're like, give me all the shine and dewiness that I can get because I want to glow. Yes. And I mean, this is going to provide you that perfect matte finish on the skin, but you will still have that glow, that right. vitamin D glow on the skin. So it's not going to look, your skin is not going to look like completely dried out. It's still going to leave that glow on the skin. And if you combine it with the antioxidant solution, let me tell you, oh my gosh. Gorgeous. So, you know, going back to some of the benefits, we kind of hopped into the products, but vitamin C, in addition to protecting your skin, it's also good for brightening, correct? Yes. It okay. helps you even the skin tone. It's not going to be an ingredient that it's going to completely remove dark spots or get right. rid of dark spots a hundred percent, but it helps you to even out your skin tone. So it provides you with that amazing glow that we were just talking about. Is, it, is there any exfoliation with vitamin C, you know, when we're thinking about it as an acid? Not really. I no. mean, not really. It provides you that antioxidant benefit and that, e that evenness on the skin, but it doesn't really have like an exfoliating, exfoliating effect on the skin. I mean, I'm going back to it again. Every doctor I've ever talked to, and they talk about the products that you absolutely need. It's um, a vitamin, a, a good cleanser, a vitamin C in the morning, followed by an SPF yeah. and then at night hydration and maybe some sort of a corrective, whether it's a retinol or um, whatever your corrective step is. But vitamin Beautiful. C is always in that top five. It's always in that top five, just because what I, what I was telling you about, it has this amazing antioxidant benefits. And I love it because you can use it as a preventative ingredient, but also as a corrective ingredient. Okay. So you can use it from your 20s to your 30s to your 40s. And it's an ingredient that you're always going to need. 
Oh my goodness. I can't believe we didn't mention this at the beginning of the, of the show. Make sure if you are listening to this, Natura Bise Ultra Luxury Line has agreed to do a giveaway of the five-step ritual, which we're going to be talking about, which is most of these products here. Um, so you want to go on social because it is an incredible, incredible deal. Um, and really with these five steps, you have a great antioxidant routine. So let's talk about the five-step ritual. What uh, is it? So first step for this five-step ritual is the C plus C micellar cleansing water. Have you okay. tried it, Amber? I, I absolutely have. And it's funny because I, you know what? Can you tell us what the benefits of a micellar cleansing water is? I worked in beauty for so long and it was one of the buzzwords about, I don't know, five or 10 years ago. And, and I somehow sort of missed the micellar okay. water. So what are the benefits of this? So let me tell you, because this is one of my favorite cleansers and why it is one of my favorite is just because a micellar water is going to remove any traces of makeup, okay. dirt or products that you have on your skin, but you don't have to rinse it off. So, you know, yeah. Great. Okay. So this is like your, because I, you know what I've been doing? I've been wa wash, washing my makeup off and then kind of using this as like almost like a toner. So I was doing it all wrong. If you, I mean, sometimes if you want to do a double cleanse, this works perfectly. Like you've been doing it, you know, you're okay. removing your makeup, washing your face first, and then using the micellar water is going to give you that double cleanse and your skin is going to be absolutely clean and purified. But if you are one of those lazy girls, which I am at night, hey, it and, happens. And you only want to do a one step cleansing fast without having to wash your face. This is your cleanser. You only need to, you only need to put it on a cotton round and remove your makeup. That's it. So will it take off eye makeup safely too? I mean, if it's, if it is like a real hard waterproof makeup, you then need you yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. But this is going to get everything else off. Um, yeah. Again, great for the men too, because I feel like they don't wash their face as much. And like you said earlier, you have two products in one right. cleanser and toner. So okay. if you want to simplify your skincare routine, then a micellar water is the perfect product for you. Great. Now I can just tell everybody, um, no, no, actually I've been double cleansing, um, and sound like I am, you know, like a super beauty fanatic, which actually I exactly. am. I mean, you, you are because I like it because I was using it as a toner. I love, again, that smell puts you into a heavenly place and space. And it is like the five minutes in the morning when I'm like, Oh God. Yes. Okay. That's what I was going to say. And even if you use it in uh, at night, it's a revitalizing scent, but it gives you these five minutes to be really able to disconnect. Like I mentioned earlier, yeah. it transports you to, to that Mediterranean scenario where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm in heaven, actually. Here we are. Or, or right to Barcelona because the brand is, is from Barcelona, my, one it of is. my favorite cities in the world. Um, it is. With some of the most beautiful women in the world. Okay, so uh, what's the next step in the five-step ritual? The next step would be the C plus C vitamin splash, okay. which is a citrus toner that you can use in multiple ways. You can just spray it on your face as a toner right after your cleansing, but you can use it to, to set your makeup better. Right. Once you have done your makeup, splash on your face, it will set better. And you can use it during any time of the day where you're feeling like, Hey, I need a, I need something to wake up. I need a push of vitality during my day. You can use it anytime during the day that you want to just spray it over your face and that's it. Okay. Love that. I don't, I don't have that one here. Oh, you don't, I don't know. No. How. Well, well, you okay. But I saw it in your video, which by the way, is another thing to discuss afterwards. And I was like, oh man, I wonder if that's just not available here in the U S because that to me no, looked like, oh, okay. Got it. Okay. So first it's the water. Then we've got that beautiful spray. Yes. And you, okay. only, I mean, I can show you real quick how you, how you can do it. It's just close your eyes and spray. And do we, we want to do that before we apply any of the other. Yes. Setting. Because, 
this is going to be your toner. Okay. Ah, so cleanser. Micellar water, toner. And right after the toner, we would go into the C plus C antioxidant solution. Okay. This is so yeah. cool. Yeah. I want to take a minute to talk about the texture of this product. It is a waterless formula. So you can see it comes in a dropper. It's kind of an oily texture, but it's really light and it absorbs very, very quickly. I also want to highlight you only applied like three drops, maybe Amber right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To my hand, but I do a full drop or full in the face. And it goes a long way. Oh, you, should you not do a full drop or full in the face? A I am a bit. little bit pretty. I am a little bit okay. pretty. I gotta confess that I use almost a whole dropper, yeah. but you can only use five drops for your face, neck, and decollete. Okay, got it. But I so, am pretty like you, so I use sometimes I use more than five drops. <laughs> but the right way to do it is what, like three to five drops? Five because drops. you're right. Five drops. Five drops is our magic number. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and I want to show people here. It is um it 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 does feel like an oil serum, but it dries uh not as matte as the as the as the gel, as the gel. but no. but it absorbs right in. It's not like you're not gonna have to worry about getting this on your clothes or hugging somebody and getting stuff all over their no, face. Not at all. It will absolutely go deep into your skin after you work it a little. And why we decided to go for a waterless formula again, vitamin C stability. This waterless formula helps to stabilize ascorbic acid in a better way, and it helps to deliver the ascorbic acid to the layers of the skin better. Now, I'm looking here, it says firming serum with vitamin C. So are there also some firming, is that the collagen boosting benefits? That's collagen, yeah. Remember okay. I was telling you about how it boosts collagen production? Yeah. That's why you also get a firming effect when using oh. vitamin C. Great, okay. And again- um, if we go back, then vitamin C is an ingredient that you can use any time during your life, in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s. So vitamin C needs to be in your skincare routine always. Always. Every single doctor agrees on that one. There, I haven't found one who is like, there's a lot of things that people are like, well, these are nice to haves, but the must haves are your vitamin C, your SPF, a good cleanser, a moisturizer, and some sort of an exfoliation like a retinol. Um, okay. And then uh, I would also like to mention on the antioxidant solution, we have 12% of ascorbic acid, but we have an extra 8% of other antioxidants like turmeric, like pine bark extract. So you get a total of 20% of antioxidants in this product. Oh, great. So what is turmeric? Like, the, is that, I mean, I know it's great for inflammation. What is it? It's also a great antioxidant. Okay. So yeah, it, you have those extra 8% of antioxidant ingredients to give you a 20% total of antioxidants. Okay, great. Um, and now- uh, so we have step one was the um, micellar water. Two is the spray. Three is the antioxidant solution. solution. What is four? Four, your C plus C. Okay. Oil-free gel. Which we talked now, about. Remember, yeah. Remember, the serum, it's going to be that extra or that really orange juice for your skin. But then you need to seal it. How are you going to seal it? with your oil-free gel. Right. Like we mentioned before, that it's going to give you that matte finish on the skin, but it's going to provide you with deep hydration and also firming benefits. I have to tell you that from our last podcast, you have changed my beauty life forever. Remember when I was like, sometimes I just use a serum and you were like, no, you need to add a moisturizer on top to seal that in. Um, I have now religiously knocked on one day since our last podcast where I have not used a moisturizer. And I wanna thank you because I think my skin, you're right, we need all the moisture, all the hydration um, and knowing that it's kind of locking in the goodness of those serums uh, has been a game changer for me, but I owe that to you. I love that. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. This is why I love doing this podcast because I learn things too. Yeah. I mean, um, we think of our serum and our moisturizer as one, you know? Okay. Yeah. Sometimes people ask me, but which one should I get? Which one is better? I can only get one. I'm like, no, you really need to try to get 
those two because they complement each other. You know, well, right, like like nail polish and top coat, right? Your nail polish is like all the goodness and delicious, and 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 the top coat is going to seal that in and make sure it stays looking beautiful and delicious. Absolutely. I mean, if you really want to get the benefits of that serum, you need to get the moisturizer. It's just going to enhance those benefits. Okay. Now, do you use this? Oh, and wait. Step five. Step five. Then game changer for my husband. Uh huh. That's a flame mask. Yes. And this one, you can use it twice a week. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime, whenever you feel more relaxed, whenever you want to enjoy yourself, give you that me moment for 15 or 20 minutes and your skin will change. Like, absolutely. I have to ask you, so I used to brush to paint it on. And when you say souffle, it is. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to, push it out here because I, I don't want to get it all over my hands right now, but um, it is literally, it's like a whipped texture, but is there clay in there? It, it does, no, what, what are, what's in that mask? Here we have shea butter and okay. it has it. So okay. shea butter is what it's given it that, you know, whipped texture, but yes, it, it is, it is a splay. It's like, you yeah, don't have it goes on so lovely and it smells great. What is the what is the benefit of that type of a mask? This mask is brightening and firming and really hydrating to the skin. So I like to use this mask. I am not a sun person, but I like to use it after maybe I spent a day with a long walk and the sun right, right. under my, my face. So I like to use this mask. So for those of you who do love the sun, who maybe go to the to the beach very often, I recommend this mask a lot because it's going to give you back that luminosity, hydration, and vitality that the skin needs after too much sun. Amazing. Um, and then I have here, um, which is one of the products that I picked up, was the, the CNC cream. Oh, yes. So I know this is not part of the five-step ritual, um, but the CNC cream, tell me about this. This is, I would like to call it like a cult product. Yeah. I say, like I said, it's been around for quite a while now, but it's a completely different texture from the gel. Yeah. The cream is for those skins who tend to be more on the dry side. If you are looking for that extra moisture, that is your moisturizer that you need to use. And that has been the, that has been my nighttime step. So I have sort of transformed from um, the, the Diamond Extreme Collection, which has been, which saved me over the winter. And I've really gone full in with this. I love this. And the, the oil-free for the daytime is beautiful because you can go out um, with no makeup on, right? You can put on a little bit of mascara and I'm out the door. Um, I will layer with an SPF. I know that you guys have amazing SPF products, but not here in the USA, correct? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, it kills me. It kills me because I love your products, but you do want to follow up, especially if you're using vitamin C, um, especially if you're using retinols, any sort of treatment steps at night, you always want to protect your skin. Um, always, always, oh, always oh, protect the skin. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so, and while we were talking about vitamin C, so vitamin C does not really offer sun protection, correct? UV protection. No, no like, like an SPF, you mean? It does yeah. not provide right. that kind of protection. And now that we are mentioning um, that you can use vitamin C during the, during the day, I'd like to talk about a myth that is always around vitamin C. And that is that if I use vitamin C during the day, I can get dark spots on my skin. And oh. yes, that it's a very popular myth around vitamin C that you shouldn't use vitamin C during the day because it can get you dark spots if you go under the sun. I mean, my mind's blown because I, I always thought that vitamin C was what you wanted during the day. Whoa, okay, so t tell, is this true? Is this not true? not true at all. What happens is that if you use vitamin C during the day, you don't wear an SPF. If you're, if you're going to be walking around under the sun or on the beach, what happens is just that vitamin C, it's going to oxidize, but it's not going to do any harm to your skin. Okay. Got but, it. So, you, so, so to further protect the vitamin C, you want to make sure you have that SPF. SPF. Correct. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, I know that the line includes some other people. Oh, and the cleansing sponges. Oh my gosh, don't you love those? These are so lovely. Um, 
I have to say too, um, that I was using these sometimes, you know, trying to be a little bit greener with the, with the micellar water, which was oh, really yeah. nice. No, you don't like that? No, I don't like that because it, the sponge is going to absorb all of the product. Oh. And you're not really going to get the product onto your skin. So for the micellar water, I do recommend to use um, those cotton rounds or, or, you know, some, what are these called? These like, like cloths that you can reuse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I thought that was kind of like this. So no, I have those. I'm trying to be a little bit greener. I have the cotton pads because I can't get, I love them. I can't give them up. But we've had um, a woman here. We had a, who has middies, which are great because they're they're great for removing eye makeup and it's better for the environment. You throw them in the wash and that's the way to go. So, and I know these can be cleaned in the washing machine, but so then this is better for like removing the mask. Yes, I recommend okay. this product just for removing the mask or your cleanser, but not applying product on them. Okay. Um, the sponges are going to absorb all of the product and you're not going to get any. Is there anything else that you're loving for like summer skincare tips? Oh my gosh, what can we do for summer skincare tips? I mean, this collection is also great to prep your skin before getting a tan. So if you know that you're going to the beach or even if you, you like to just go to the uh, tanning beds, you can prep your skin with these products because they're gonna defend your skin against that exposure. You know, it's gonna provide that deep hydration. And then right after you got your beautiful tan, it's also going to help it last for longer. Now, are you talking, when you say tanning beds, are you talking about like the bad tanning beds? Or are you talking about like a spray tan? No, you're talking about oh, the bad like, tanning like, beds. Like tanning beds with lights. Cynthia, I, mean, I cannot believe you just said that on this podcast. Nobody should go to the tanning salon. I mean, I did for years. Go. Nobody should go, but I know they will go. You, you know what? That's fair. I went last week for my first ever spray tan and I was in Jersey. Um, and the woman, I was like, give me what everybody gets. Not really thinking of where I was because Jersey is the world's capital of spray tanning. Is um, it? Oh my gosh. You know, think about like the Jersey Shore, the Snooky. Anyway, so she sprays me down and I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I'm so dark. Um, it was a lot of the guide color, but she was like, I was like, oh, can I put my clothes right on afterwards? She's like, well, let it dry. But hon, do you want to go hop in the in the in the tanning bag to really boost it? And I was like, no, 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 no. That I mean, would be that would be a no for me too. I just told you I am not a sun person. I right. don't like to to. Do you spray tan? I don't. Oh my god! Well, this was like I mean you can't see it anymore. That I think it was two weeks ago that I got it. I am a spray tan convert. In fact, this morning I got um, just delivered here the Luminous at home spray tanning system. So uh -huh. we're going to see how good I am with that. It is a game changer. I always used to be afraid. I don't like the smell of that fake tan. Um, and I feel like it looks streaky. Well, they have gotten it so darn good. And thank you to the woman. I think her name was Denise in Jersey at Riviera Tan, who, I mean, I walked out into the beach the next day and I felt like a million bucks. I mean, for that, I would definitely recommend to get an exfoliation first. Yeah. So it can be like a nice, even color yeah. and then it can last a little bit longer, but hydration is also very important. So doesn't Torpy say have any good body exfoliators? We do have one actually from the vitamin C collection that you can use face and body. Oh, and what is it? Is it like a scrub? It's, it's like a scrub. Yes. So it's, you can feel like uh, rose hip sits in it. It's okay. Very it has this nice citrus scent from the vitamin C collection. And I love the fact that you can use it face and body. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now you um, are actually, now you're still in Mexico city. Yes. But I hear that you are coming to join us here in the U S soon. Very soon. I'm a week away from going there. Yes. And where, and where are you going to be? Dallas, Texas. You're Oh, girl, so you better be, you, I mean, that is like as much sun as you can get year round. Oh my God. I'm just trying to pack all of my SPFs and everything so I can be prepared for that Dallas sun. Hey, smuggle in some of the, um, smuggle in some of the notoriety yeah. say SPF, please. I'm dying, dying to get my hands on that. Um, do you have cowboy boots yet? Uh huh? 
Cowboy boots? For sure. I okay. have, I have, have I am prepared. You are ready to go. Cynthia, it is always such a pleasure to have you on. I'm so excited for you. Good luck with your move. If people want to know more about Natura Vise, where can they go? They can go to naturavise.com or visit us on Instagram at naturavise. And make sure to check us out on social at Art Beauty Podcast. This week, we are going to be doing a social promotion, a giveaway of products from this fabulous CNC line. You don't want to miss this. Um, they are so delicious and so wonderful. So make sure to check that out. And if you have any questions you want me to pass along to Cynthia or the Natura Be Safe team, I'm happy to do so. You can email me at hello at artbeautypodcast.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and right here on YouTube at Art Beauty Podcast. And as always, we will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Thank you for having me, Amber. Bye.